I'm trying to wire an ignition switch to a Honda GX630. The wiring diagram doesn't make any sense to me. The ignition switch has GND, Ignin, Bat, Ek. The engine has four wires blocks, block slash eel, gray, gray. The two gray wires to a rectifier that one fused red wire leaves. Red wire from rectifier is the bat, Ign is the black wire. Black dot yellow is accessory, to the fuel solenoid on carburetor. Slash that leaves a ground wire that has to be added. Okay, let me try that. Okay. I doubt that will work after thinking about it, the red wire has to be connected on the same terminal as the positive battery cable, typically from there, there would be red wire, fused, that would go to the ignition switch bat terminal to power the key. Sorry that gave me nothing. But I also left out a wire in my description. So starting from scratch. I can confirm 12V plus the starter on engine. There's a white wire on a post beside the 12V plus on the starter. Then blacks, black slash eel, gray and gray. The two gray go to the rectifier where one fused red wire leaves. So I have red, white, black and black slash eel in hand. All diagrams show a 5 terminal key switch. You only have 4? Black slash white would come from the starter to the start terminal. You don't have a start terminal. I have another W5 available. And one W6. 5 posts are labeled G, M, S, B, L then there's one unmarked. Honda diagram shows 5. 1. Wire from starter switch on starter, has to go to switch terminal. 2. The wire, fused, from the starter solenoid's positive battery cable terminal goes to bat on switch. 3. Wire from the full solenoid on carburetor, has to go to a core low 4. Brown has to go to ground 5. IGM, has to go the two coils on engine, to kill engine. Wire colors may vary, but positions do not. G groin slash S switch, B battery L accessory slash fuel solenoid. M ignition. Diagram I am looking at. Same diagram. Except 2.7 and no control box. It just doesn't make sense to me. Not sure the confusion. Just take it one at a time. 1. You have to have power to the switch, B83 terminal, comes from the positive side of the starter solenoid, same terminal the battery cable is on. 2. Round is self-explanatory. 3. You have to wire switch wire from key to the switch terminal on the solenoid. 4. Fuel solenoid has to be powered as soon as the key is turned on. AC Corel. 5. Ignite I under the coils. Here's a picture of what I'm looking at. I have a 5 post keyed switch in my hand. Nothing is numbered. Nothing is labeled. In the picture the black wire is obscured by the blue connector on it. I run network cable for a living. I can terminate whatever you tell me to wherever you tell me. I thought I explained it well. Now I see you have used engine. White wire at starter is switch wire, you need a wire on the battery cable terminal at the starter, usually red, I see one with a spade terminal. Has to go to bat on key switch. The two gray wires have to go to the rectifier for charging. The other two wires coming from the engine, you need to see where hay go to on engine. 
one will be to the coils, not sure what another would be. And do you have a solenoid in the carburetor? It may not have one. I've got it starting and stopping. Added a switch ground on the black one. The rectifier line W fuse goes to bat pos to charge. Yes, can go to the battery cable terminal at the starter. Same place the wire to key switch power comes from. Or can go to positive of battery. Okay. So explain, please, why what I did works. That black wire was on the end post on the switch. I removed it, added a switch that goes straight to ground. Everything works fine. If I put the block slash eel in the end post, it starts and dies. Where does the black slash yellow originate from? Do you have fuel solenoid at the carburetor? Oh, and should these two fuses be something other than the 20A I had handy? I don't know. It's a black box. Without removing a bunch of bolts. Just trying to get some learning out of tinkering. Go to the carburetor, and look at solenoid, BY shows to go to full solenoid. It would have to be powered when key is on. Got it. Okay. And the imps on the fuses, then I'll leave you alone. I would use 20 amp on the power wire to key switch. Got it. THX I'll mark complete and satisfied. I'll be back soon. Okay, just accept to close. Thank you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.